How can you use a number line to explain why fractions are equivalent? Let's find out. Sal rode his bike three fourths mile to school. Name two fractions that are equivalent to three fourths. On the number line, the distance from zero to one is the whole. What part of the whole is each section on the number line? Since the number line is divided into four parts, each part is one fourth of the number line. What point on the number line shows the distance Sal rode his bike? Three fourths. The points on this number line are named with fractions. Can the points be named by other fractions? Use the number line to find out. Show three fourths on the number line. Divide each fourth into two equal parts to show eighths. What do you notice about some of the fractions on the different number lines? Some of the fractions, like one fourth and two eighths, are the same distance from zero. The sections of the bottom number line are smaller, but the whole distance is the same. Divide each fourth into three equal parts to show twelfths. Which fractions name the same point as three fourths? Six eighths and nine twelfths both name the same point as three fourths. What does it mean when two fractions name the same point on the number line? It means they are equivalent fractions because they describe the same part of the whole. So six eighths and nine twelfths are equivalent to three fourths. Three fourths is equal to six eighths, which is equal to nine twelfths. What is another pair of equivalent fractions? Two fourths and six twelfths are another pair of equivalent fractions. Now you know how to use a number line to explain why fractions are equivalent.